You know, food trucks these days, I mean, they come in every shape, size, form, offering all different types of food, chefs with all different kinds of background. So I'm here in the Santa Barbara area, and I'm hearing about this barbecue trailer where the chef, well, he's using a stick burner, but the dude is classically trained. Well, the thing that's kind of weird is he's only open two days a week. Two days a week and he's getting this kind of recognition? You know I gotta check it out. This is the Chef's Touch barbecue rig. Brisket sandwich up for Vivian. Kurt pays attention to every single detail. It's all in one brisket. It is just the most incredible barbecue you'll ever have. All from the back of a souped up rig towed by real deal chef turned pitmaster, Kurt Aldridge. You're bringing in old school, low and slow barbecue on the stick burner. Yes. That is the least easy thing in the world. I serve two days a week. It takes me the rest of the week to get ready. You're an animal. Let's do a whole hog. The ultimate whole hog, it's always a favorite. We got bacon, sausage, and pork. Mouth watering goodness. What is the dish you're making? This is for the whole hog. You make the bun, you make the bacon, you make the sausage, you make the pulled pork. Yes. Making the dry rub for the pork butt. This is a brown sugar. Kosher salt. Vietnamese pepper. Vietnamese pepper? Vietnamese. It's hot. Be careful. Fresh ground is what I love about it. Garlic powder. So this goes, what, 24 hours? 24, 48. Then we let it air dry in the refrigerator overnight, and then we hit the smoker. And what are we smoking with? 100% almond wood. What tip are we running at? 190 for about 12 hours. Low and very slow. Wrap it in Texas peach paper, put it back in the smoker for another six hours until it comes with 180 degrees. Next step. Mojo Criollo. Red onion, garlic, orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, oregano, salt, and a little bit of oil. All right, kids, grape drink. Are we ready to shred? Hit it. Look at that bark right there. Great smoke on it. When we add this to it, it really brightens the whole thing up. The acid, the orange, the garlic, little kiss of the oregano balances out the sweetness and the char and the smoke. Delicious. Next up, what do we build? Sour sausage. Let's go. Fermento. It feeds the bacteria that causes the transformation from nitrate to nitrite. Out of my pay scale, Chef. Dextose adds another level of tanginess. Cayenne pepper, Korean red pepper, coriander, dry mustard, Vietnamese pepper, caraway, paprika, salt, granulated garlic, a little pink salt. Mix this up with some pork that we grind in house. Now yep. we'll go into the sausage casing, twist them up, put them in the refrigerator overnight, and then smoke them in the smoker. 190 for six hours. If you don't have enough work, why don't you make bacon? Oh, you are. Salt, Vietnamese black pepper. No kidding. Pink salt, a little sugar. How long are we going to let this dry, Brian? Five days. Then it's going to go in the smoker. Everything's 190. Four to five hours. Cool it, cut it. What do we got going? House made barbecue sauce, some oil, onions in the pan, a little garlic, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste. Not starting off with a ketchup base. You're going to just no. chef this thing all the way through. Brown sugar. Worcestershire. Liquid smoke. Salt. Allspice. Ground cloves. Dry mustard. Vietnamese black pepper. Cayenne. A little water. Simmer it for 15 minutes, and then we're going to blend it up. Bacon's done. Sausage is done. And the bun you made. Yes. Pickled veggies, carrots, cauliflower, a little turmeric in that. You make your own pepperoncinis? Yes, we actually grow those. We have a local organic farmer. I'm out. <laughs> House-made sriracha mayo. Yeah, there we go. We split a sausage link. Some of the pork shoulder with yeah. the Creole sauce on it. House-made bacon. Oh, man. That's all you need to serve, bro. <laughs> that gives me goosebumps. Bacon's delicious, rendered enough. When you're working with such few ingredients and such simple equipment, your discipline and your expertise have to be spot on which they are. This is high-level barbecue. Whole hog sandwich up for Jeff. Pork is perfectly cooked. It's good spice, but it's not overpowering. The flavor of the smoke, that's my favorite. So I'm here in Boise, Idaho on uh, Bannock and Capitol. You show me a town like this where you got a college, you get four seasons, and you got a lot of people that love to eat. I'm going to show you some dynamite restaurants. This is SLG, St. Lawrence Gridiron. The Monty's are ready for the brunch potatoes. The Monte Cristo is delicious. This is such a different version of it, savory and the sweets. Now what are we into? Pulled pork for pulled our Monte pork. Cristo. We want to put a spin on it that's unique to us. So we're going to take a Monte Cristo and we're stuff it with pulled pork? Absolutely. You're a gangster. Bonus pork butt. Salt and pepper. That's it. That's it. Are we going to let this set up for a little bit? For about 30 minutes before we put it on the smoker. How long? Six to eight hours. What right? tip are we running at? Maintain 200 the entire time. And then we'll shred it. What's up next? Very coolie. We're going to start with blueberries, raspberries, water, sugar, salt, red wine. Simmer this for about 20 minutes. Got it. Blend it. Hit the xanthan gum, tightens it up, and we're good to go. Yes. Next up? Monte Cristo batter. It's basically a French toast batter. Milk, eggs, baking powder, AP flour. I don't make my French toast batter with AP flour. I'm going to thicken it up. 
Lemon zest? Orange zest. So the batter's done. And we'll grab our bread. Dredge it flat top with the pulled pork. And bacon. And then now I see cheese is going to get involved. Swiss and cheddar? Yes. My son, Ryder, this is his kind of sandwich. Savory and French toast at the same time. Very coolly. It's impossible that you could make this sandwich and then my 17-year-old could teleport <laughs> from Northern California all the way here because oh. he could sniff out. <laughs> it's like a magic show. All right, Piglet, you want to try some? Yeah. One minute, it's salty, then it's chewy, then it's sweet, then it's crunchy, then it's cheesy. There is a lot going There's on. A lot going on. It reminds me of a grilled cheese, like pork, like French toast sandwich, so it was amazing. Yeah, the Kool-Aid, that makes it. That's Coolio. <laughs> Here are these Monte Cristos for you, gentlemen. The Monte Cristo is the perfect brunch item. This balance of the pulled pork that's inside of it, plus these thick slabs of bacon. And I think the batter is really important, too. It's thick enough, it almost feels like a grit. It's absolutely perfect. You're a therapist. Talk to me about your emotions and feelings on this Monte Cristo with pulled pork. I'm feeling all sorts of emotions. <laughs> I'm feeling it right here. I'm loving it. Excellent. I like the French toast. I'm here to take you to a joint that is doing the bomb barbecue. Wait, barbecue right now? People tell me this place is off the hook. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. This is Shepherd Barbecue. Red play in the window. Order up. Where does this stack up in the world of barbecue? It's the number one place for me. Good barbecue all depends on the person that's behind the smoker. It's the genius of Brandon. Which all started when Chef Brandon Shepard was just a kid, hanging out around the pit at family cookouts. Then, after working in kitchens, he and his wife Elizabeth, jalapeno what? cheddar sausage up, decided to fire things up on their own. What kind of barbecue are you doing? We kind of jump all over the place. Eastern North Carolina style pulled pork, but we also do brisket, pull a little bit from everything. The boss hog and the collard. The boss hog sandwich has got your pulled pork, the jalapeno sausage in it, and it's just a flavor bomb. All right, chef. This is our jalapeno cheddar sausage. OK, so the trimmings from the brisket and from the pork? Yes, sir. Got it. And what are we adding to it? Granulated garlic, smoked paprika, crushed black pepper, curing salt, it's kosher salt, mustard powder. We have milk powder. Well, fat in there, got it. And this is actually cream. Now, we're going to add this to the meat and grind it on the meat? Yes, sir. Intersperse the peppers. You're just going to do one grind, or are you going to go multiple? Two different runs with a coarse grind. OK. And once all the grinding is done, we mix in mild cheddar. Now we're going to put the sausage mix into the stuffer to make our sausage. Let's see it, chef. Look at that. You'll twist it. Beautiful. Then we smoke it. What kind of smoker? We have a custom smoker outside. It is a stick burner. We normally use hickory, post oak, and pecan. Smoke at a low temp, two and a half hours, then hold it, and then go again at a higher temp for another three hours. Yes, sir. Now we're going to season the pork boat. So just salt and pepper. How long is this going to smoke? About 10 hours or so. OK. And salt and pepper and the Carolina vinegar to get ready for service. OK, chef, next up. A Carolina gold mustard sauce. We start off with yellow mustard, Dijon mustard. This is the Carolina vinegar sauce you make? Yes, sir. I'll have a gallon of that to go. More white vinegar? Water, Worcestershire sauce, smoked paprika. Black pepper? Black pepper, cayenne, granulated garlic, granulated onion powder. Where's my money? Sorry, I don't have any groceries. Red chili flake? And white sugar. That's on point. Love that vinegar. I love the heat. I love the simplicity. You call it gold. You're right. We toast our bun with our beef tallow. Beef tallow is what you smear on the bun? A little bit of garlic as well. I almost named you beef tallow when you were a child. I'd have been OK with that. Our house mints low is our sausage. Yeah, that's going to be all right. I love the grind in it. Good amount of cheese, a little bit of heat, not too much smoke. Right? Get yeah, a little sure. snap to it. Do our pulled pork, Carolina gold sauce, ah. pickled red onions. And the collard greens, give me the rundown on this. A uh, inspiration of my grandmother. Oh! We call these Helen's collards. Those are great greens. Dynamite sandwich. Mm -hmm. The pork is tender, but doesn't have a ton of smoke. Sausage has got great bite. Yeah, that's a great I, textual I difference between the pulled pork and the sausage. I mean, it's, it's nice to have that. Coming for your job. <laughs> I'm, you know. Textural difference. That kind of gold money. We go put that on a flip flop. Legit. Slicing sausage for the boss hog. It's crazy good. The pulled pork's got an excellent bark on it, really good flavor, really juicy. I'm obsessed with the jalapeno cheddar sausage. And collard greens are ridiculous. I always get all collards. You got to get those pit beans, too, as a side. My mama makes some good baked beans, but don't get some trouble with mama. <laughs> this has been top notch. I'm looking for elevated bar food at a joint that's serving up something called barn shows. This is Born in a Bar.
chili cheese spray app in the window. There's burgers and wing joints all over the place, but this place, that's the standard. Smoked wings, Carolina sauce for you. The atmosphere, the service is wonderful. The bar's really fun. Whether you're wanting to party a little bit on game day or just looking for a meal. The food is like amazing, like the nachos. Barn shows, yeah. I love the barn shows. That's my go-to usually. You have those crispy pub chips that come fresh out of the fryer. Then you get that smoked pork in with the queso. That's an appetizer for our whole family. Everybody enjoys it. What are we making first? Just the basic rub for our pork shoulders. Salt in first, pepper, brown sugar. The emphasis on the brown. Paprika, onion powder, granulated garlic. Dry rub it. Let's go to the smoker. 225 and we smoke 18 hours. Shred it up. All right, what are we making? This is our house-made queso. Heavy cream. Emphasis on the heavy. Easy melt cheese, pepper jack, little Swiss, and that's it. Now we're going to make our barbecue sauce. Good, good old molasses. Good, 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 good old good, molasses. Good, good, good. Honey, brown sugar, yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. dark rum. Yes. Black pepper, dark chili powder. Kitchen sink is next. Clove, allspice, liquid smoke. That base cooks down, then we add that ketchup. That's our sweet and smoky barbecue right there. Okay. We're going to do our hot buffalo. Again, on the flat top. Two pounds of butter in there. Cayenne, ghost chili powder. Celery salt, paprika, crushed red pepper, hot sauce. Once they're cooked down, we'll mix them together for the sauce for the barn show. Barn show. All right, let's talk about these. Those are some of the crunchiest potato chips I've ever had in my life. How many rinses do they get? Three, and our brine is ice cold water, white distilled vinegar, and kosher salt. Let that rest at least 24 hours, then we'll fry them. A little seasoning, toss, that's our base. Now we're gonna build our barn shows, our shredded pork, bacon, hot queso. I gotta get every chip a little love. Our pork, a little bit of bacon on top, cheese, diced red onion, a little jalapeno, the spicy barbecue. That's the barn show. Dude, the barbecue sauce is awesome. The cheese sauce, delicious, not too much. Good smoke on the pork. Love the big chunks of bacon. I thought that I was going to find the hole in this. I can't even make a hole in this. I've been digging into this thing for a while. Those are legit. Shut the front door, back door, shut the barn door. Cheese and barn shows. The queso is delicious, and that spicy barbecue sauce adds a little bit of kick in there. They're not stingy with the meat, so you're always going to get a good portion. I don't know that I could finish that with three friends. I don't think I could either. Do you want some? I'm just coming out of my food coma from when I had them. So I'm here in the Chelsea Heights section of Atlantic City, right between the boardwalk and the bay. And man, was this area hit hard by Superstorm Sandy. A lot of businesses went out and never came back, except for a funky little joint like this. Welcome to Vagabond. I was a bartender here. Hurricane Sandy hit. Bang. I'm unemployed. And I got to figure something out. So he signed up his childhood buddy, Tom Harris. Spicy California burger. Bought the joint, fixed it up, and put it back on the map in 2013. When Tom and Elvis reopened as Vagabond, instantly it became a hit. Three-way sandwich. Great combination between bacon, pulled pork, and brisket. Each meat could be its own sandwich. Let's start off with the uh, pulled pork. Got it. Next, we're going to add the brisket. I'm going to bring this up to temp. OK. Add the mango barbecue sauce. Locally made brioche bun. Yes. Pork first, then the brisket. Next, the candied bacon. We're going to top it off with a lime slaw. I like the little stamp on there. Our house made fries. When I think about Atlantic City, I do not think about barbecue sandwiches. But I got to tell you, this would be a home away from home for a lot of folks that want some great barbecue. Mm. Smoke, nice tang, good season. Make it a slaw, counterbalancing with a little acid. That's a great sandwich. That's a really great sandwich. Thank you very much. What better? Barbecue three-way. The mango barbecue sauce makes the sandwich. The maple bacon that they have in there kind of like takes it to another level. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. You see, I have a responsibility to bring you some of the best barbecue you've ever seen on Triple D. And after this spot, you'll say, I thank you. This is ZZQ. Trace Ombres. Trace Ombres has Fontino habanero sausage as well as pulled pork. And it has brisket. It is a big one. We're going to make the Trace Ombres sandwich. We're going to build our dry rub for our pulled pork. Let's see it. Coarse ground black pepper, kosher salt, a little paprika, chili powder. 
brown sugar, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. We're gonna take our Boston butt, apply a yellow mustard and pickle brine slather. Okay. Rub the butt pretty heavily with our dry rub. They'll smoke for about 12 hours. Okay, on to the brisket. And again, we're gonna start with black pepper, kosher salt, paprika, a little cayenne. My homies. Granulated garlic, granulated onion, cumin, Mexican oregano. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. The mustard and pickle brine slather. Dry rub. And then this is gonna go for how long? About 16 to 18 hours. We're gonna make our signature house thick sauce. What are we missing? Um, a ballet slipper and an engine block. <laughs> we're gonna to toast three types of chilies, and we're gonna be caramelizing some onions. So while that's okay. going, we're gonna start the tea. Oil. Good, let's get every pot, every ingredient. Garlic. Water, toasted peppers. Let them steep. 20 minutes, take all this, and pour it into a blender, puree it. Got it. We're gonna start the next step with the caramelized onions. Okay. Add molasses to that. Cook that down. We're gonna add the tea that we made, ketchup. Apple cider vinegar. Brown sugar. Cumin chili flake, whole grain mustard, kitchen sink, I have new <clears throat> wing of bat. Pickling brine, soy, lemon juice. Cayenne. Salt. Cook it for an hour to an hour and a half. We're done. We're gonna put the tres hombres together. Habanero fontina, pulled pork, thick sauce, beef brisket, a little more thick sauce, pickled red onions. Okay. Oh, how cute. We'll put the little hat on it. Just for you. I'm not gonna be a sharp dressed man after this. This is a monster. Delicious brisket. Love the sausage. Pulled pork's nice and tender. It's legit. It's real deal. It's great flavor. Well done, chef. Thank you. Very sombrace. You have to really press it down to fit in your mouth. The brisket is very tender. It's really delicious. So we found a place where two buddies that went to school together build a place that everybody loves to go to. This is Pounds. Chicken tenny mouth in the window. It's our go-to date night. Great spot for food, drinking, dancing. Got your lote over, ready to sauce up. Pork and mac in the window. The barbecue pork mac and cheese all around. Just a very flavorful dish. Oh, I think it's kind of a guilty pleasure, actually. What dish are we making first? Old pork on macaroni and cheese with barbecue sauce. The health craze is taking over uh, Fargo. <laughs> We're going to make the spice rub for our pulled pork. Brown sugar, paprika, chili powder, cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder, kitchen sink, dried oregano, coriander, cinnamon, nutmeg, fenugreek, dry mustard powder, sumac, <laughs> chipotle powder. Nothing else you want to add to it? Why weren't you guys friends in high school? Well, I didn't get the seat at the cool kid table. Well, who's the one on the show right now? The, the tables have going. turned, yeah. Oh, how are you enjoying the lobby? <laughs> We're going to take our pork. We score it a little bit. We want the salt to be in every little square inch. Really work its way through. Yeah. Black pepper as well, pork rub. Now we're doing the mustard. This has vinegar in it, which is gonna help break down a lot of the connective tissue that we have here. We're gonna grill it with the mustard. That's correct. Okay. It's like that char flavored. Now we're gonna get our braising liquid together. Beer, cola, cider vinegar, some Worcestershire, liquid smoke. A lot of it. Salt. Pour this in. Braise this for about two and a half hours, just until you can shred it. Dig it. Next up, mac and cheese. Half and half. In the double boiler, so it doesn't have direct flame contact, so it doesn't burn it. Heavy cream, cream cheese, shredded white American cheese. Do you think you want to get a bigger shredded, pot, Chef? Shredded cheddar, no. It'll mix. Got to give it some time. Oh, I'll get the time for you. What do you want? No. I need my assistant back. Alan! <laughs> You're into Gouda? All right. It's so Gouda. A little guy bird feeder. Just put some Gouda out there. Now we're going to make our little sauce mixture for the mac sauce. Buffalo sauce, salt, pepper. Onion and garlic. Stir that up. Add it to our sauce. Take our immersion blender and make sure everything gets incorporated properly. What do we have left? Barbecue sauce. Ketchup, Dr. Pepper, Worcestershire, cider vin, brown sugar, paprika, cayenne, chili powder, garlic powder. Onion powder. Onion powder, bay leaves, salt. Bring it up to a boil and then simmer for about a half an hour. Gosh, there's a lot of ingredients in this monster. <laughs> Take a little bit of oil, pork, let this sear off. Noodles into our mac sauce. Plate our pork sauce. This comes with a side of treadmill. Pickled jalapenos. It's a dynamite dish. Everything's got to be right. Any one part of this not being right, you just put two sides together and call it a main dish. That's right on top of right and added some more right. The pork is delicious and not dried out. The barbecue sauce has got fantastic tang and not overly sweet. 
The Mac sauce gives you that thin, silky, creamy texture. And the real kicker to the whole thing is the diced jalapenos, a little bit of the acidity, a little bit of the heat. Delicious dish. I mean, like, really have to take it away from me. I want to eat it all kind of day.